Hello everyone, welcome to our math channel Math Bridges Fun with Math. This video is about Max riddles. Sounds so interesting, right? Children love to solve these riddles. Solving these riddles gives deeper thinking and very light approach towards mathematics. It also creates love and interest towards the subject. So let's see what are the riddles. Before getting into the video, I want you all to have a book and a pencil or a pen so that you can solve the riddles and get the answer. So please keep the things ready with you all. Let's see what the first question is. The first question is how many nines are there in between 1 and 100? You can take your book and pencil and you can write and you can check if you want. Nines, how many nines are there? Hope you are getting the answer. Yeah, let's check what the answer is. It is 29s are there. You can count it and you can check. It is starting from 9 onwards if you are taking. See all these numbers 9, 19, 29, 39, 98 and 99 in the last year. 2 9s. You count all these numbers and we will be having 29s in between 1 and 100. The second question is how many days are there in 4 years? Quickly. You can solve it one year it is 365 days so you can solve it how many days will be there in four years you can start calculating quickly hope you are nearer to the answer and the answer is there are 1461 days means 1461 days as it is four years there will be one leap year means one day extra we will get so you have to add one to the answer this one 365 into 4 plus 1 you have to do because there will be leap year if you have multiplied only this one it is wrong and the third question is what is half of 2 plus 2 the question seems to be very simple but be careful in solving half of 2 plus 2 hope you got the answer let's check what it is and the answer is 3. If you got the correct answer, just pat yourself. Great going. The next fourth question is, goes like this. When my father was 31, I was 8. Now he is twice as old as me. How old am I? You can pause the video, read the question again and give it a try. Don't go with the answer directly. I want you people to try it and check the answer. My father was 31 years, so I was 8 years at the time. So first you find the difference, what is the age difference between father and the child. Then you may get the idea. Give a pause. Hope you got the answer. And the answer is 23 years. When the child is 23 years, father will be double the age of that one. So twice as old as me. The fifth question is, what is the number of the parking spot occupied by the car in the above diagram? You can see here, where the car has been parked, the parking spot number you have to give as the answer. You can give a pause and you can check, think logically, observe it carefully, the picture, you will get the answer. And the answer is, parking spot number is 87. If you observe here, the entry point is from this side. We will be entering into the parking lot, the opening. This is the part. So when we read the numbers, we will read it as 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Not as 16, 6, 68, 88. We are not reading from this direction here. We have to go from the opening. Means where the entry, entry is going on from there. That side we have to read the numbers. So the answer, the parking spot number is 87. This riddle is quite interesting. This one no need to do it in your paper. You can do the calculation in your head itself. Do not use any calculator or phone or anything. Just start doing. Take my instructions very carefully. Take 1000 in your mind. Add 40 to it. Got the answer? To that answer, you add another 1000. Now add 30 to that answer. Done. Add one more 1000. Now add 20. To that answer, add another 1000. Now add 10. What is the final answer you got? What is the total? The answer is, it's 4100. It is not 5000. 
You can check it once again. When you add the 10, it will be 4,100. It will not be 5,000. So you can recheck. If you got 5,000, you can recheck. Read the question again and you can give it a try. The seventh question is, what number do you get when you multiply all the numbers on a telephone's number pad? All the numbers, if you multiply, what do you get? What will be the final answer, the product? Hope you're multiplying all the numbers. I think no need to multiply. Just think once. What are the numbers available on the keypad? If you multiply, what will be the product, the final answer? Give a pause and then you can try the answer. If you got the answer, you can check it. And the answer is, there will be number 0. So, 0 multiplied by any number, it equals to 0. Therefore, the product is 0. And the next question is, when Lisa was 6 years old, her sister Lucy was half her age. If Lisa is 40 years old today, how old is Lucy? First, you observe the first, first two lines. Lisa was 6 years. Sister Lucy was half her age. Half means half of 6 is 3. So, now you think here. Now she is 40. So, how old is Lucy? So, here what is the age difference? In the first two lines, age difference is 3. So, think on that lines and you will get the answer. Give a pause and you can try it. And the answer is 37 years. Lucy will be 37 years. 6 minus 3, 3. So, here 40 minus 3 if you are doing, you will get 37 as answer. That will be the age of Lucy. The ninth question is, how many numbers do you see here? You can see this picture, image. What are the numbers you can see here? You can write it in your book. You observe what are the numbers you are able to see. And how many are there? You can count it and see. If you want, you can give it in the comment box also. Number 9, the answer. You can give a pause. You can find the answer. And the answer is 10 numbers you can see. That is 0 to 9 numbers. I have given the image over here. You can check what are the numbers, how it has been formed. Hope you are enjoying all these riddles. And the last question is, you observe this equation, 9 minus 5 is equals to 8. We use some math sticks here. You use only one math stick so that you should get the correct answer. The equation should be satisfied. So move only one math stick. You can draw in your book and check or if you have the math sticks, you can take it and you can try. Move only one math stick. Give a pause and try it again. You will get the answer. And the answer is this one. So which math stick we have moved? Here, whatever in 9, this vertical math stick, whatever is there, this math stick, we have to put it over here near the sign, minus sign, so that it becomes plus. So 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. It got satisfied. The equation has been satisfied. So we moved only one math stick over here. Hope you all enjoyed solving the riddles. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe to our channel Math Bridges One with Math and do share it with your friends. Thank you everyone.